Alright, so today I'm going to make the biggest YouTuber from Uganda. Uganda. He has 64,000 subscribers. Can you imagine? I'm feeling so blessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so stay tuned with me and I am going to meet him in Kitale Town. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe. Yeah, so today I'm in Kitale town. You can see me, I'm back again. And guess who I'm with? I'm not just by myself today. <laughs> I am with the biggest YouTuber in Uganda. Who tells you the biggest? <laughs> you are, you know, you have to inspire yourself. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> His channel is called UG Connect. Yes. I'm so pleased to meet him. He's traveling Kenya right now. Yeah. His second time in Kenya. Yeah. And he will tell me about his experiences in Kenya. And I would also like to know, you know, we are like two new foreigners here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we met for the first time. Yeah. You see the power of the internet? Yes. Yeah. yeah the power yeah. of the internet. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're new here, please do subscribe to his channel. Mm. Um, it's called YouTube. And UG subscribe Connect. to her channel as well. Exactly. You need more subscribers than me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, brother. Yeah. yeah so we are just going to walk um, in Kitale mm. town, and I'm using his camera. Wow, mm. much better than my phone. So yeah, it's You'll a good there. experience for me. So guys, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> So this is Kitale town today, it's mm. on a Saturday yeah. afternoon, it it's had actually rained a cold. bit, yeah. it's a bit cold, yeah a bit cold, these guys have a, a temperate weather, yes, just like uh, Switzerland, New Zealand, New Zealand, no, New Zealand, Switzerland also <laughs> experiences this kind of weather, New Zealand, I know, they sound similar isn't mm. it, <laughs> most time of the year, uh, uh, from what I've read on the internet, yes. most times of the year, Kitale is like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. It receives a lot of rainfall. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is Kitale located in um, Transoia County. Mm. Yeah, which is the breadbasket agricultural heartland of Kenya, mm. known popular for commercial maize farming. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. You guys are big on Ugali. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wonder why you like Ugali so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder why you guys like Matoke so much. As well. <laughs> Matoke is more fancy than Ugali. <laughs> oh, you think so? Yeah. yeah. When I lived in Uganda for a month, my relatives, my cousins, mm. I became chubby because you cook matoke, you add peanut butter. Oh, wow! Yeah. Very rich. Uganda very is very richer. rich in food than Kenya. Exactly. Though. Yeah, I'd like to come to Uganda one day and vlog about the street food there. Please, you're welcome. Yes. You're welcome to my beautiful country, Uganda. Yeah. Okay, so Uganda connects. Yeah. My brother, tell me, how are you finding Kenya so far? Kenya. Yes. Ah, Kenya is amazing. Is it your first time here? No, it's my second time in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, really, I, I'm really loving it. You know, last year I visited uh, only Nairobi and the coast. Yes. But this time I'm, just, I'm dedicating much of my time mm. in the western part of the country. Yeah. And I must say it is beautiful. Yes. Just like the Pearl of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> when you compare Nairobi, the capital city, with Kampala, the uh, capital of Uganda. Mm. What do you? What would you say? In terms of what? Um, how do you want? How would you want me to? Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Buildings. How? The city's infrastructure. Yeah, we. I think we all know that Nairobi is more developed than Uganda. Sorry, than Kampala. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. bit much more developed because it's a business hub. Yeah, yeah. Uh, many bigger. Uh, corporations in the world 
have regional headquarters in Nairobi. Yeah. So you guys are at an advantage than us. Mm -hmm. I think that's what makes you, that's what makes Nairobi a more preferred city. Oh, okay. And how about Mombasa? Mombasa. How did you find it? Mombasa is a bit laid back, but it has a rich culture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I've not been to Mombasa. I would also like to go there. Mombasa? Yeah. You should be. Actually, I'm surprised you're Kenyan and you've never been to Mombasa. Because I did not grow <laughs> up here. <laughs> I did not grow up here. I grew up in Botswana. In oh, New Zealand. Botswana. That's why I was saying we are like two foreigners. Yeah. And yeah. the funny thing for me is, <laughs> I'm a foreigner in my own country. <laughs> Yeah, I keep saying that. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm also learning Kenya just like you. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That's surprising. Yeah. So about my experience, I was still telling you. Yes. Uh, I found Western Kenya more interesting. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things to explore here. Mm. A lot of things to see. The culture this side is rich. Yeah. You know, Nairobi and Mombasa are more cosmopolitan. You understand that? Eh? Okay. There are many people from different parts of the country. Yes. But when you get in the West, you find that uh, the culture is rich. Yes. These, uh, these different areas are, are attributed to, to certain tribes. For instance, when you go to Eldoret, yes. it is known for the Kalenjin people. Much as there are other tribes, yes. but it's majority the Kalenjin people. Yeah. Yeah. And you find the culture there is very rich. Bungoma, you find the Bukusu. Yes. The Bukusu people. So yeah. I find Western Kenya beautiful, very, very green. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because um, these areas are still, uh, how can I say? <laughs> They're still what? They're, they're now growing, they're more... They're still developing? Yeah, developing, yeah, that's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Developing, so it's becoming more intercultural. Mm. Slowly, slowly, might be like Nairobi. Yeah. And uh, Mombasa. And yeah. The main tribe here, I hear the... Um, was... You want to get on my left? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I see... Okay, yeah, <laughs> I need to swap this. Oh, you want to remove the strap? Let me yeah. help you. Thank you. Help you. Change it to the other hand. Yep. So many people are asking, Lawrence, how would you protect your camera <laughs> while recording on the street? So I, I have a hand strap. I always <laughs> strap it on my hand. Ah. Yeah. 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 So I was saying that um, what I hear, I know about Kitale, the ancestral dominant tribe here was all the natives were the Luyas. The Luyas. And then, uh, but now it's intercultural. Mm. So there are Luos, Kikuis, it's mixed. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it's actually, time. I think the second biggest museum is just ahead of us here. You know it? Yes. Oh, it's the second biggest? In the country. <laughs> Kitale Museum. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I was there. Oh. Mm. I need to visit there. Was it free to enter? I think it's a hundred bob. Oh, mm. that's affordable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to eat nanas. Let me, let, oh, okay. let's go and eat nanas here. Should we? You eat nanas? Oh, yes, I do. Will the museum be open now? Ah, uh, what Don't. time is it now? Let me see. Yeah. You want to go to the museum? Mm -hmm. No, 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 unfortunately, oh, no. Next time. It's three minutes past five. Yeah. Yeah. I think they close at around uh, four. Oh, yeah. So we are just buying um, nanasi. That's pineapple in Kiswahili. Sasa? Mbapi? Mbao mbao? Eh. Mbao mbao? Mbao mbao? Yeah, you ni shirini. Eh, miya moja? Apana, twenty. Twenty bobe? Eh. That's mbao mbao? Eh. <laughs> slang terms. Mm. <laughs> slang terms of Kiswahili. Uh, you don't eat pineapple? <laughs> I do. No way. I do. Come on. <laughs> okay, Asante. <laughs> Bro, Yongeza. Yeah? Yongeza and Baumbao. Yongeza and Baumbao. Yongeza and Baumbao. Yongeza and Baumbao. 
Asante. You know, guys, when I'm traveling, mm. I always hydrate my body with fruits. Mm. It's much better than taking um, water. water. Mm. You know that? Yeah. Because that bottled water is not safe. Oh, yeah. But the water I get in the fruit is recycled, is processed naturally. Oh, really? By nature. Ah. And it comes rich in nutrients. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, the beauty of living in Africa. Street food. Mm -hmm. Handy, small street food everywhere. Mm -hmm. You Just see how he cuts yourself. it. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and this is how they cut it without holding it. Very skilled. Mm. He's an expert at it. So, bro, how long have you been doing this business? 16 years. 16 years? Wow. Biashara Nizuri. Ni safi bwana. Mm. Okay. It's a good business for him. Mm. So where do you get the nanasi from? Uganda. Uganda? What? Wow. Uganda. <laughs> Here they don't grow nanasi. Here in Kitale. Hakuna. See, Uganda is rich with food then. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. So which part of Uganda? Kangaroo Mira. Wow. Now, you see why I was telling you Uganda is rich mm. and Tanzania as well. Mm. The man I should have used to buy water, I use it here. How do you find this nanansi mm. compared to what you have in New Zealand? Much sweeter, much tastier. Okay. Not as... In New Zealand, sometimes you... Actually, New Zealand, they don't grow these things. Mm. They import from... Africa? Asia. Asia. Very hard, they import anything from Africa. Sure. Yeah. Most of their imported fruits are from Asia. We have bananas all the way from Philippines. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's because those Quedos, guys yeah. have a tropical kind of yeah. climate. Yeah. Even I think southern India. Yeah. Indians, mm. I don't, I don't see them importing from India. Um, some fruits also are imported from Australia because Australia also has a tropical oh. climate. Yeah. But just a bit of the country, not the whole country. Mm. Mm. Mm some areas so brongapi so 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 mm. Mm. Hey. his experience is good in kiswahili is learning the sharing of kenya that's slang mm. yeah but also in uganda we say so for 100 oh, okay yeah we say so i never picked that when i was in uganda in 2017 and, and it is also used as a slang mm. yeah i'm just Send wondering money. No. Watermelon, eh? Mm, no, no, no. Are they from also Uganda or Kenya? Mm, Watermelon in Samaki? Wow. Ata tikiti maji metoka Uganda. Kenya. Ni metoka Uganda, but Kenya ziko. Ziko, like ziko. Lakini sitamu. Here, Nicole. Mm. Asante. Oh. Na, Nanansi ya Kenya, Sitamu. Nikali. Oh, Nikali. Mm -hmm. So, bro, I send money? Lipan and Pesa. Lipan and Okay. You're, you're now familiar, isn't it? Yeah, I'm familiar with the system. It's similar with Uganda. Mm. Enter. So, in Africa, we have something called mobile money. It's not common in um, yeah. or mobile wallet Western for them. countries. Yeah, mobile yeah. wallet. Yeah. It's, it's a liquid, liquid digital way of money. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to Works move with much. cash. You <laughs> yeah. always pay with your mobile phone. Now, yeah. I have all the money on my phone and I'm going to be clearing our bill. Exactly. Ningapi? So? It's very handy in Africa.
Kitale town is not so big. It's a small one. <laughs> it's a small one. So not much to show around, but I guess yeah. we have shown enough of it <laughs> and enjoyed my time with my Ugandan brother here. Yes. You, yeah, so he has... Thank you for taking me around. And Though we all... We were all foreigners in Kichale. <laughs> I know. She, I'm a half foreigner. <laughs> she's a Kenyan. <laughs> half foreigner. Thank you guys for watching. And for now, we shall say bye-bye. Kwaheri. -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah, that's in Kiswahili. Yeah.